Hi guys, this is Erica from Gokche Capital. Now before I begin, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and turn on notifications. I was recently working with a landowner who wanted to sell her property and had to let her know that it was unclear whether the chain of title was clear or not. Now, how could this be? She asked me. I have a deed that shows that title to the property transferred to me, which was in fact correct. There was a deed that had transferred title to her. This was not the issue. And if you're curious what the problem was, I'll let you know at the end of this video. However, this story does show that there is a difference between a deed and title. And it's important to understand this if you want to ensure that you are acquiring full uncontested ownership in a property. So let's start with title. Title is the legal ownership of a property. Thus, it is a legal concept. And title is usually, but not always, conveyed via a deed. And number two, title as a concept is actually a bundle of legal rights, of which there are five primary rights. These include the right of control, which means the right to use the property as you see fit, so long as you are not violating any local laws like zoning. The right of disposition, or the right to sell or rent out the property. The right of enjoyment, so the right to engage in activities on your property, again, so long as you are in compliance with all laws. The right of exclusion, or the right to keep other people off of your property. And the right of possession, or the right to say that you own the parcel. Now, having said all this, there can also be defects in title. What this means is you may have a parcel of land conveyed to you via a deed, but you won't have full uncontested ownership in the property because there will be competing claims or sometimes a lack of clarity as to whether you are the sole owner of the property. Some examples of title defects include liens or improper prior conveyances, that is, prior conveyances that were improperly done or which contained mistakes, or other claims that may arise out of unique circumstances, such as when someone may be claiming adverse possession over a portion of the land, or when a property is inherited and there may be other heirs making a claim to the lot. And a title search is the primary way that you can check for such defects to make sure that you are assuming full or marketable title to a property. A title search will check for defects and then title insurance will ensure you against any financial loss arising from prior issues with the title. Number four, a deed is the physical document that conveys title. It is thus the means by which a property is transferred from a seller to a buyer. Now there are different kinds of deeds that convey different kinds of warranties in relation to title. And it's important to understand this because the execution of a deed does not necessarily mean that full clear title is being conveyed. Now the gold standard is a warranty deed and this is usually the kind of deed that is issued when you purchase title insurance. Essentially with a warranty deed, a seller is warranting that there are no known defects in the chain of title. There's also a special warranty deed, which is like a warranty deed, except that the seller is only warranting that there were no defects that arose during their ownership of the property. In some states, there are also grant deeds. A grant deed can vary from state to state. Sometimes it is essentially a warranty deed, but in other circumstances, it is a deed in which the seller is stating that they are not aware of any defects in title, but that they will not guarantee this in court. And finally, there's a quick claim deed in which the seller is not giving any guarantee, warranty, or representation in regards to title. Now these are for the most common deeds you will see, although there are a couple other specialty deeds. And rules and regulations around property transfer vary from state to state. So you should always check with a local real estate attorney to ensure you understand the kind of deed that you are receiving and what sorts of representations are being made with it. All of this is to say that the two terms are closely connected but different in practice. The most important thing to understand here is that a deed will convey a property to you and often it will convey full marketable title but not always. So to return to our opening story, the deed that had transferred the property to our potential seller had been signed by one person. However, the deed that had conveyed title to this person had actually conveyed title to that person and their spouse. Now, most likely the spouse had passed away and this was why the prior deed had only been signed by one of the two original grantees. However, there was nothing in the chain of title stipulating that the spouse had passed away and our potential seller had not acquired property with title insurance. 
Thus, we decided to pass on the property because title did not seem to be 100% clear. And this is why it's very important to understand the difference between a title and deed, and make sure that when you are getting property, you understand whether you are getting marketable title or not. And if you have any additional stories about acquiring property, let us know in the comments. Did you like this video? You're going to love our Gokche Land Due Diligence program. We'll make you a land due diligence expert in just seven days. Check it out at gokchecapital.com slash glad. And while you're at our website, don't forget to explore our $1 down properties at gokchecapital.com slash listings. Finally, don't hesitate to reach out with any questions. You can email, call, or text, and we will respond as soon as possible. So thank you for listening, and more to come. Thank you.